Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. I've talked about recently that I want to start incorporating some other things into my channel and I definitely want to start doing a little bit more motivation and inspiration into my channel in various ways. So today I have a clean and cook with me. I'm super excited about so I didn't actually do an intro before I started cleaning so my house is clean now but you're about to see it beforehand. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you love cleaning and cook with me videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. All right, let's get back to when my house was a disaster. We are coming off of a full on birthday week and weekend for Lennon. It's all coming to an end now, but our house is showing quite the mess. We have presents everywhere, stuff everywhere. Lennon's room's a mess. Just our whole house is just kind of a mess. So. Today, we are cleaning everything up, doing a full-on clean with me, getting this house in check. Lennon has started cleaning her room. I am going to help her at some point, but she's getting a start on it. Hello, Lennon love. Lennon, did you have the best birthday week and weekend? Yeah. Yes. Look at all that laundry. We gotta conquer that laundry. We got a lot going on in here, right? A lot going on. This is, you start working on it. I'm gonna wash your sheets today because these need to be washed. Our heater is broken in our house, which thankfully we live in Florida, so it doesn't get that cold. But right now the house is 61 degrees, which is way too cold for me. Since Christmas, we went on a family trip, got back. I had to go out of town for work stuff, and then we've had her birthday week. So our house has not been back to like normal since Christmas, so I have no, <gasps> I just got shot. So my house is not decorated the way that I like it to be. We've got Carlos here going to help the cleaning process. I'm gonna stay makeup free today because, you know, it's just easier to clean like that. I don't need to get made up to clean. We have a big old mess on our dining room table right now. This is all stuff from Lennon's birthday. They started doing Legos. It's a mess, so I gotta get this all cleaned up. It's random stuff everywhere. Also our room. It's a big old mess. We've had our little tiny heater going, trying to keep me warm in here. It doesn't do the greatest job, but it helps a little bit. And then I have just all this stuff from being out of town that it's just a mess. It's a mess y'all. Look at my makeup area. Everything's a mess. If there were ever a time that I needed some cleaning motivation, it would be now. I just watched a cleaning video to get me motivated so now I can hopefully be some motivation for you if you need to clean up your house. I know it's not the most fun thing to do, but we all have to do it. So hopefully I can help motivate you to clean your house. Let's get to cleaning. <laughs> oh my god. So the first thing I needed to tackle was actually just picking things up and tidying things up. My room was such a mess. I had just so much stuff from traveling and our family trip. I still had stuff of Lennon's and my husband's. So I just wanted to get everything organized and put Lennon's stuff to one side and put the other things where they needed to go before I could actually even start cleaning. My makeup area was an absolute disaster. So I had to get this area cleaned up before it drove me crazy. I just started putting everything back where it goes and then I decided I would tackle the actual cleaning of this area. One thing I love to do when I'm cleaning is just put headphones in, listen to some motivational music or podcasts, listen to an audiobook, and sometimes they even just talk on the phone and catch up with a friend or a family member, and it helps the time go by faster. I was just going to kind of clean around the stuff that I had on my makeup area, but then I decided, hey, I'm already starting this. I might as well do the whole thing. So I took everything down and actually gave it a real good deep clean.
so happy I actually went ahead and cleaned it because this area really needed it. It gets super dirty, dusty, filthy with makeup, and every now and then it just needs a good old cleaning. And here is my room all clean for my birthday we are going to actually redo my room change the floor and change a bunch of stuff up but for now I just wanted it nice and clean and I achieved it even underneath it's clean it's not perfect but it's definitely way better than it was next it was time to tackle this dining room table that got so out of hand and our home is an open floor plan so you see the dining room table from everywhere in the house and it was driving me crazy all of this stuff was from Lennon's birthday so I just divided up the things that I needed to store and things that I needed to put in Lennon's room and just basically organize it so again more with the tidying up and less with the actual cleaning at this point Getting things organized makes me feel so good. Anyone else like that? I just love getting things organized. I'm going out my mind. Give me some directions to get to you. To get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. Yeah. I'm going. I moved everything of Lennon's over to one specific area so everything was together and the rest of the house looked picked up. And finally the dining table looked like an actual dining table again. I tidied up pretty much everything last night, but I didn't actually like clean the counters, clean the table, clean the mirror, and all the other tables and do some dusting. I need to Windex these windows behind me. They get so dirty from my dog. Oh, and I have laundry I have to do. I have to fold and change out another load. Cleaning motivation is still on. Cue cleaning music now. These doors and windows are my nemesis. They get so dirty, but boy, does it feel good once they are actually clean. So I was so happy to actually get them all nice and clean because I honestly don't do it as much as I should. Cleaning all of the surfaces really can just make you feel so much better in your house, feel and smell so much cleaner. Even if your house isn't decorated exactly like you want, like mine isn't at the moment, just having everything clean really helps your state of mind and you just feel better when you're in your house and you walk around and the space is clean, you feel good. Well, at least I do. I just wanted to tackle getting the kitchen all cleaned up, dishes put away, get the sink all clean before we actually cooked dinner this night. 
I like to be able to cook dinner starting with a nice, fresh, clean kitchen. I love my white Keurig, but I will say it gets dirty so easily. Well, at least it shows the dirt so much more than my black Keurig used to. But it does make me think, wow, my black Keurig was probably way dirtier than I ever thought it was. One thing I love about cleaning is that it's instant gratification. Once you clean that area and you see it clean, boom, you feel so good. There's not a lot of things in life that you get instant gratification and cleaning a house definitely gives me that feeling. Also, same goes for laundry. It takes a little bit longer because it's quite the process when you have multiple loads. But once you get that laundry done, oh man, it's a good feeling. <laughs> I always fold my laundry on my bed. Does anyone else do that? It's just a habit. I like folding it there, even Lennon's clothes, and then I put it in a basket and take the basket to her room and put the clothes up in there. But there's just something about folding clothes on my bed. It's just like a ritual, I have to do it. Where do you like to fold your clothes at? Finally, my house is all clean. It feels so good. I just love a clean house. There's just something about a picked up, organized and clean house that makes you feel so dang good inside. I didn't get all of my cleaning done, but my house is in such better shape than it was yesterday at this time, so I'm glad about that. After dinner, I'm going to at least try and get my kitchen all cleaned up so it'll be nice and clean for the morning. Now it is time to make dinner though, and I would like to thank Home Chef for sponsoring this portion of the video because I have been dying to try Home Chef. My brother has been using Home Chef for months now and he loves it. Says that there's so many options. There really are so many options. Each week you get 15 new options to choose from. They have vegetarian, they have wheat free, they have soy free, they have nut free. So many options to choose from. They even have breakfast and smoothies as well. I made a vow. My husband and I both said that this is the year that we are going to cook way more at our house. I'm not a very, you know, adventurous cook, but I want to change that. I want to get really good at cooking. So when Home Chef reached out to me, I was like, this is perfect. I've been wanting to try Home Chef. I am wanting to expand my cooking knowledge and recipes and all of that. 
So I thought this was just the perfect opportunity. And I want to make this more of a family thing. So Carlos, my husband's going to help cook with me. And my daughter is going to join in for a little bit of fun, I'm sure, because she loves being a part of the kitchen process and cooking process. If any of you guys have been interested in trying out Home Chef, I do have a discount code. It gives you $30 off of your first order. I will have that linked in the description box below as well. I'm not an amazing cook. Hopefully I can follow these and if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm so excited. I haven't even opened the box yet. So you guys get to unbox it with me. One of my favorite things about Home Chef is it just takes the stress out of going to the grocery store and having to find ingredients. Home cooking made simple. Home cooking made simple. Are we gonna become like master chefs, you think? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Let's cut it open. Are you excited to see it? What do you think it looks like inside? I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. Oh! Whoa! It comes with these recipe cards inside, so these are all the different recipes that we can make. So we have chicken fajitas. That sounds really good. We have a chicken rice bowl. Ooh, huli huli. <laughs> huli huli. Huli huli. Chicken rice bowl. Then there is a sherry wine demi glaze sirloin steak. That's what daddy really wanted. Ooh, with some Brussels sprouts. You know, mommy loves some Brussels sprouts. I know you don't like Brussels sprouts, but you can try some. And then some spaghetti and ricotta meatballs. Ooh. Let's try the huli. Huli huli chicken rice bowl? Yeah, let's do that. I think so. Okay. Yeah, that one looks good. Everything comes packaged in here. Ooh! With, ooh. Fancy! <laughs> Fancy! So this is what it comes like. It's first like that, and then the recipes are right here. So then you open it like that, and then you'll These are the like groceries. things to help keep it cold. So let's take these out. Yeah. Can you yeah. take the other one of those out? We don't need these. We don't need these. Those help but it, cold. it says reuse or recycle. So that's good. We love recycling, right? Yep. Yep. Can you pull out the first ingredient? These are the spaghetti ones. Ooh, okay. Yep, that's the, the spaghetti and, and meatballs. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, that's the chicken fajitas. How cool that it all comes in a package like that. This is the healthy, healthy rice. Oh, that's us. And there's one more thing. What else? This one. What does that one say? Sherry wine. Oh, that's the sirloin steak. Why is there chocolate? No, that's butter. Oh. <laughs> Quality ingredients below. That's the special ingredients. That's the meat. These are cool because you don't have to keep ordering them over and over again. They come with more than one. You can have a dinner so you don't have to go out and spend more money. You'll have a dinner for four nights. Totally. Well, you get to pick. You get to pick how many dinners that you want. So. Yeah. It's cool that you can pick how many dinners you want and then you can like stop it at any time or yeah, pause it. Yeah, you can just like, if you feel like, uh, I don't want to make it next, to today. And then you just put the box, shut it and put that put in, in the, the fridge. fridge. <laughs> and then the next night you can say, hey, I actually want to do this one, not the other one. And then you can make it. Perfect. And it comes with all the ingredients, so it's no need to go to the store. Oh my gosh, you are good. And we haven't even tried it yet, and you're already sold. <laughs> Do you like this? Yeah. Okay. There are green onions in here, jasmine rice, lime, slaw mix, mayonnaise. Okay, it says you will need, boom, Nine. olive oil, salt, pepper, boom, boom, small pot, boom. Mixing bowl. Get it. You want a pink mixing bowl? Yeah. Boom. Damn non-stick pan. Coming your way. Boom! Woo! Yeah, girl, yeah. Yeah, girl. Number one. Cook the rice. Okay. Bring in a small pot with jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine rice and one and a half cup water to a bowl. Boil. Boil. Boom, sister. Make sure it's perfect. 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 All right, now pour that. Into the wicker bowl. The small pot. Now we need to add the rice into it. Pour it in. Ooh, 
all of it? Yep, all of it. Don't let any fall out. Yeah. And make sure to wash your hands. <laughs> oh, you say that as you've already started. Guys, it's bubbling. So now we have to put it to low and put a lid on it. <laughs> it looks like a blizzard in there. <sighs> or it probably has some whiteout conditions. There's holes! Okay, now it needs to. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm like, there's holes! Can you guys see the Al steam coming out of that? Alexa, mm -hmm. set timer for 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Starting now. All right. So. You learn something new every day, guys. Trim and thinly slice. Do you know how to thinly. do that? Me? Oh. You don't know how to? Yes, I do. What? No fear. I'm going to cut. This is your first time you've ever chopped green onions? You're doing time. good. I feel like we should give a disclaimer. What do you mean? What's a disclaimer? And say, we are not professional chefs. We do not know how to cut things properly. We do not hold our knuckles properly. Just putting it out there. Half and juice the lime. Half this lime. Juice this lime. I want to juice it. Oh, and juice and power. Nice. Mixing bowl, you gotta combine the slaw, dump, then you need to add the mayonnaise. So much. <laughs> now we need to add one teaspoon of olive oil. Oh. Alright, now we need to. Oh, one teaspoon of lime juice. We need to add the green onions, but a little bit we save for the end. Dump the camera up. A pinch of salt and pepper. I'll do it. Okay. Mix it. Add it right up there. Okay. Boom. Pat the chicken dry. Okay. You will need to wash your hands, yes. The more you wash your hands while you're cooking, the better. So then it says now that we need to salt and pepper the chicken. Now we need to sear the pineapple. Whoa. Ooh, that's looking yummy. Ooh. Ooh. Time to cook the chicken. Add some chicken. Mm -hmm. Now we need to add some pineapple. A little bit of green onion. It might not look exactly like the picture, but I think we did a pretty good job. All right, is everyone ready to try it? Yeah. All right, Here let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is amazing. We need it cooking every night. You <laughs> love it? Mm. Yeah, really good. Mmm. You know what I like about this? I like us being able to cook together. You know? Right, Lonnie? Little Miss, I want to be a chef one day. This is going to help teach you how to become a chef. Yeah. I know, right? Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. 
<laughs> I would have a thousand zombies up there. Thanks for helping me cook this, Bob. That was fun. Mm. <laughs>